In this video, I'm going to be building and testing a ski cargo sled that I'm going to be making out of these easy to get materials. The plan is to test and use this sled on a four night skiing and camping trip in the mountains that we're going on in a few weeks. We're going to be using this to carry our food, water and other heavy equipment. So we won't have to carry very heavy backpacks on the skiing trip. If you buy a cargo sled like this new, it will cost around $200. But for all of these materials, I've only spent about $15. I'm going to place this aluminum plate right here to make a reinforced attachment point for the pulling system. To divide the pulling force over the whole sled as equally as possible, I'm going to make this rope go around the side of the sled and also around here. Now the sled is almost finished, but there's still one important part missing. Uh, right now these pipes are quite flexible and loose, so I'm going to have to stiffen them up by using another piece like this and attaching it here. Much more sturdy. I might cut this part of the because it's not necessary. Now it's ready for the first test. We're traveling to a place called Kungsvoll in the Dovrefjell National Park in Norway. To easily take the sled with us while we're walking on roads and traveling by train, it can be disassembled. The sled can be attached to a backpack and the poles are just short enough to fit inside of a ski bag.
Oi. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So after this trip, what do you think about the performance of the sled? I was a bit skeptical at first that you were going to make your own sled to bring with you on the mountains. And uh, just like a plastic sled. But it works really well, surprisingly. It proved itself uh, worthy. It's really lightweight and easy to take with you on the train. You can just take it apart. Which uh, maybe was the thing I liked the most about it. Mm, so overall, it's possible to make your own sled, even though you're going into harsh conditions. <laughs> <laughs>